Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'm going to talk about minerals and their importance to your health. Before we begin this discussion, I wanted to talk about the extreme nutrient deficiency of most soils in the world, and in particular, Western country soils. Poor soil management through decades and centuries has caused this situation to develop. I will use the case of sulfur to illustrate this point. In years gone by, most people heated their houses with wooden coal. Coal in particular emits a lot of sulfur in the burning process. This used to be pumped into the air and then it would fall back down onto the soil and enrich the soils as a result. Now, coal burning is of course a bad thing for air quality. The smogs in London, England during the early 1950s as a result of coal burning devices killed countless people. Of course this coal burning practice needed to end, but the point I wanted to make is that now soils have been depleted of this important element for plants growth and it isn't being replaced in any other way. This same situation is occurring for multiple soil nutrients. Basic soil nutrients are not available for plants to grow with. A case in point is the analysis of the nutrients of tomatoes grown in different locations across the US. Nutrient values were found to be vastly different depending upon where in the country the tomato was grown. So ultimately a tomato does not have the nutrients that books on nutrition would have you believe. It ultimately depends on where that tomato is grown. A special word on organic produce now. What organically grown means is that no chemical fertilizers or pesticides are used in the growing cycle of the vegetables. It does not mean that that vegetable is grown on nutrient-rich soil. Understand this point because it's important. Organic food is still the best choice because it reduces the overall toxic chemical load on your physical body. But it does not mean that those organic vegetables are nutrient-rich. If you can't find an organic farmer that uses a nutrient-rich fertilizer program, look for one because that is your best choice. But you have to look hard for this. As a result, it is impossible to obtain all the nutrients your body needs for good health from the food you eat. I know this is bursting a lot of people's bubbles, but it's the truth. So now we'll get into a discussion on a few of the major minerals that are necessary for good health. Calcium. It is essential for the development and maintenance of strong bones and teeth. It also assists normal blood clotting, muscle action, nerve functions, and heart function. A deficiency of calcium will result in osteoporosis, tetany, a softening of the bones, back and leg pains, and brittle bones. Women need more calcium than men do. Men should strive for four to eight hundred milligrams a day. Women should strive for 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams a day, depending on age. Calcium should be taken with vitamin D, magnesium, and zinc. There is no known oral toxicity level for calcium. Chlorine. Chlorine regulates acid ba ba base balance. It helps to maintain osmotic pressure and stimulates the production of hydrochloric acid. It also helps to maintain joints and tendons. A deficiency of chlorine will cause loss of hair and teeth, poor mus muscular contractibility, and impaired digestion. The usual way that most people intake chlorine is via salt. Too much salt has adverse effects on the body, from high blood pressure to the retaining of water through the body. Chromium. Chromium stimulates enzymes in metabolism of energy and synthesis of fatty acids, cholesterol, and protein. It increases the effectiveness of insulin. A deficiency of chromium will result in depressed growth rate, glucose intolerance in diabetics, and, and hardening of the arteries. The recommended supplement is 200 mcgs a day. There is no known toxic toxicity for this mineral. Copper. Copper aids in the formation of red blood cells. It is part of many enzymes. It works with vitamin C to form elastin. 
A deficiency of copper will result in general weakness, impaired respiration, skin, and skin sores. The recommended supplement is 1.50 milligrams a day. Taking large quantities of copper is toxic, so common sense is needed here. Iodine. This is an essential part of the hormone thyroxin. It is necessary for the prevention of goiter and regulates the production of energy and the rate of metabolism. It promotes growth. A deficiency of iodine results in an enlarged thyroid gland, dry skin and hair, loss of physical and mental vigor, vigor, and children born to mothers that are deficient in thyroid, I mean in iodine, can, can, form, can produce mental retardation. The recommended supplement is 300 mcgs a day. Up to 1,000 mcgs a day does not produce a toxic effect to persons with a normally functioning thyroid. Iron. Iron is necessary for hemoglobin and my myoglobin formation. It helps in protein metabolism and promotes overall growth. A deficiency of iron will produce weakness, paleness of skin, constipation, and anemia. The recommended supplement of iron is 10 milligrams for men and 18 milligrams for pre-menopausal women. Iron can be toxic in large doses, so some common sense is necessary when supplementing with iron. Magnesium acts as a catalyst in the utilization of carbohydrates, fats, protein, calcium, phosphorus, and potassium. Magnesium should be taken in conjunction with calcium and vitamin D. Uh, magnesium, sh you should take 50% uh, of the amount. If you take 1,000 milligrams of calcium, you should take, should take 500 milligrams of magnesium. A deficiency of magnesium will result in nervousness, muscular excitability, and tremors. 30,000 milligrams a day may be toxic to certain individuals with kidney malfunctions. Manganese is an enzyme activator. It plays a part in carbohydrate and fat production. It is necessary for normal skeletal development. It maintains sex hormone production. A deficiency will result in paralysis, convulsions, dizziness, ataxia, blindness, and deafness in infants. The recommended supplement for manganese is 15 milligrams a day. Molybdenum acts in oxidation of fats and aldehydes. A deficiency will result in premature aging. The recommended supplement for molybdenum is 25 mcgs a day. 5 to 10 parts per million is considered toxic level. Phosphorus. Phosphorus works with calcium to build bones and teeth. A deficiency of phosphorus will result in the loss of weight and appetite, irregular breathing, and pyrrhea. The recommended supplement of phosphorus is 800 milligrams for adults. There are no known toxicity levels for phosphorus. Potassium works to control activity of the heart muscles, nervous system, and kidneys. A deficiency of potassium will result in poor reflexes, respiration failure, and cardiac arrest. The recommended dose is 2,000 to 2,500 milligrams a day, which most people get from their diets. There is no known toxicity for potassium. Selenium works with vitamin E to preserve elast tissue elasticity. A deficiency of sel selenium will result in premature aging. The recommended dose is 100 mcgs a day. 5 to 10 parts per mi uh, million is considered toxic. Sodium. Sodium helps maintain normal fluid levels in cells, maintains normal fluid levels, and helps to maintain the health of the nervous, muscular, blood, and lymph systems. People are seldom deficient in sodium. It's table salt. A deficiency of sodium results in muscle weakness, muscle shrinkage, nausea, loss of appetite, and intestinal gas. Sulfur is part of amino acids. It is essential for formation of body tissues. It works as part of the B complex of vitamins. 
it is necessary for collagen synthesis. Vanadium. This inhibits cholesterol formation. The recommended dose is 80 mcgs a day. Zinc is a component of insulin and male reproductive fluids. It aids in digestion and the metabolism of phosphorus. It aids in the healing process. A deficiency of zinc causes retarded growth. The recommended daily dose is 50, 15 milligrams a day. Well, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscription button right below this video. Well, that's it for now. Take care until next time and stay naturally healthy.